Hello guys, this is Marcus with Rehab Pro, and today I want to share with you a blog topic that is near and dear to my heart. Okay, we're going to talk about five tips for successfully working with contractors. Some of you may not know, but I'm a licensed general contractor, so this is a very important topic to me. It's very important that in, to successfully work with a contractor, it's all about communication. So communication is so important. So you need to make sure you have the tools in place to properly communicate with your contractor and to make the work process work really well. So what are some of the things you can do to successfully work with your contractor? Well, one is first you need to evaluate your project properly and, and make sure that you've evaluated exactly what you want done with the house. And once you've identified that, you want to incorporate that in creating a detailed scope of work. And you can use some of the key players on your team, your realtor, your designer, to help you put that scope of work together. And ultimately, your contractor is going to do that too, but you want to provide them with a document of exactly what you want so they'll have a good idea of how to price your job and how to plan you know, for your job and be able to communicate with you in terms of how long the project's going to take, what type of resources they're going to need from you, so on and so forth. The other thing you want to do is you want to interview the contractor. You want to interview and screen your contractors because, like anything, not all of us can work together. So you want to make sure there's a little bit of chemistry there and that there's going to be a good working relationship and good communication throughout the project because that's going to determine, ultimately, how quickly your project gets done and how much fun you have getting the project done. I mean, we all want to work with people we want to work with, right? So make sure you interview your contractor. You know, just like anything else, put together some questions that are important to you and your project and make sure that you go over that with each contractor that you bring in. It is an interview. At the end of the day, you have to screen the contractor, the person that you're working with. Also, um, start getting estimates. You know, once you've gone through that vetting process, then, then start getting your estimates you know, from each of your different contractors and see you know, what the price of your project is going to be. Get recommendations from them. Get feedback from them on what they would do differently. Maybe to make your project better, maybe to improve the layout. You know, anything that's going to help you, you know, be successful in getting that project done. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, communication is key. So you're a team. Real estate's a team sport. So make sure you're working with someone that you want to work with and that you feel is going to be a valuable asset to your team. And make sure you are communicating effectively with them as well as you want them to communicate with you. And set, set down and, and basically put down the guidelines of how you want things to go and how you want things to work. What are, what are your expectations? You know, it's important that we define what those ex expectations are up front. And a lot of times your scope will work will define those expectations, but if there's anything that's not specifically in the scope of work that you're expecting, you know, make sure you address those issues up front so that the project will, you know, flow and move, you know, relatively fast so you can get the project done because you actually make your money when you sell. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. There's actually a link in this video I would like you to click on where we have some bonuses. We have a, actually a, an evaluation sheet that you can use for evaluating your property to actually share this information with contractors. So definitely click on the video, I'm sorry, click on the link in this video so you can download that free document. And we look forward to seeing you on our next blog video. Again, I'm Marcus Harrison with Rehab Pro. Thanks.